everybody. Uh, we are going to talk about areas of triangles and special quadrilaterals, the uh, trapezoid, square, rectangle, all of those fun things. Now, there, there are different area formulas, but I want to show you one thing, that if you use this area formula, that the area of whatever shape we're dealing with is equal to the average of two bases, base 1 plus base 2 over 2 times a height. This is going to take the place of all the formulas that we deal with. Now, this, I'm going to start with the trapezoid because this is the traditional area equation for a trapezoid. So I'm just going to draw a trapezoid. This is base 1, this is base 2, or it doesn't matter. This distance between the bases is the height. And the area would be equal to 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times the height which is the average of the two bases times the height which is what we had right up there so that's traditionally what the trapezoid is but I want to show you how this works for every single um, shape that we have let's say we have a triangle Now, this would be considered the base, and this would be considered the height. Now, if we take the idea of the trapezoid, that the height is between the two bases, the second base for a triangle, which doesn't really exist because it's not really there, is actually this point right here. So this would be base 2. Now, since it's a point, does it have a length? No, the length is 0. So the area, if we use this equation, would be base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times the height. So the area would be base 1 plus 0 over 2, which is the height. Area is equal to 1 half the base times the height, which is what we normally have. But if we remember this formula, we just know that base 2 is 0 works the same way. That's how we derive the triangle formula from this generic formula that we have. Now, parallelogram. This is the height. So this is base 1, there's base 2. Now, what do we know about parallelograms? Opposite sides are equal to each other. So base 1 is equal to base 2. So if I do my area formula, base 1 plus base 2 over 2 times the height. And an example I would say is if you're bowling and you score 100, and then you score 100, what's your average? Your average is 100. And since these are equal, base 1 plus base 2 same kind of idea, this is really like base 1 plus base 1 over 2 times the height, which is really 2 times base 1 divided by 2 times the height. The 2's divide out, and you get base times the height, which is what the area function, or the area function essentially is, is your base times the height. but it still comes from the area of your trapezoid. Rectangle, same thing. There's base 1, there's base 2, there's the height. Base 1 equals base 2. It's the exact same thing that happens up here. So my area would simplify down 
to base times height, or we also call it length times the width, but if we keep everything consistent, get base times height. A square. Now we know all sides are equal. This is base 1, this is base 2. The height is equal to a base because they're all the same. So if my area is base 1 times base 2 over 2 times the height, or excuse me, plus, not times, sorry about that, add those up just like we would up here my area is equal to base times the height well the base here and the height are the same thing so my area would be equal to a base squared or traditionally we say side squared now for the trapezoid not the trapezoid but for um, a rhombus, you have to check out the next video because um, it's a little bit different than this. But as you can see from this one, if we remember one equation, trapezoid, triangle, parallelogram, square, rectangle, they all end up being the same thing.